Yeah, okay. So today's topic is static website. Uh, this topic is useful if you want to enter a world of web development. Okay, if you plan to set up a website uh, and then you don't know anything about it, I think this webinar is good for you. So, yeah. So my name is Ahmad Mardiansha and I'm from GLC Networks Indonesia. Oops. Oh, sorry. Okay, now. Okay, our agenda today, uh, we'll be talking about how website works, and then we'll be talking about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so, <laughs> so actually you can access directly the website, but I really suggest you to, oh yeah, um, you can access it using, um, um, uh, file uh, FTP client like FileZilla or WinSCP so that you can upload the some files there and then uh, edit it on on your site okay okay let me try to log in okay a little live practice Okay, great, I'm in. Okay, so we'll be talking about the, how website works, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Uh, this is for example, uh, when I'm accessing the website uh, using uh, my, my uh, FTP client, okay, or uh, SSH client, okay. So that one is a GUI base <laughs> for those who are not familiar with the command lines. Uh, yeah, it's one of the alternative you can use. Okay, after that, we'll be talking about the content uh, of the website, uh, which is HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Okay, introduction, we are GLC Networks. We are based in Bandung and our areas are training and IT consulting. We are uh, doing uh, Microtech Ubiquiti and Linux. Uh, and we also have our own product called uh, GLC Radius Manager. Uh, this product is used for ISP. Uh, as if you have an ISP and then uh, uh, this product can help you to manage your client, like uh, terminating uh, the clients, uh, handling the payments, and then uh, renewal automatically, and then so on and so forth. Uh, we also have regular event, uh, like what we are doing today, which is the webinar. Uh, this is me. <laughs> My name is Ahmad. I'm, uh, I'm doing Microtech, Linux, and Ubiquiti. Uh, trainer, consultant, and then contributor. If you have LinkedIn account, then uh, I really, Really, really want to connect with you guys. Okay. Uh, let's make lots of friends here rather than the enemy. Uh, about past experience uh, in 2021 here. Uh, yeah, um, we, we do uh, network support, uh, radios and billing integration. Uh, previously, we also do things related to networking and then uh, system development. So we develop a uh, software that can support organization. Uh, about the webinar itself, uh, it started in 2010 and then, uh, yeah, the schedule is available in our website. If you want to uh, join as a presenter, uh, you're very welcome. Uh, and if not, then uh, you can join us uh, as a participant. Okay. Uh, also, you can share your own experience here. Uh, it's not a problem. Okay, uh, about yourself, I can see here, some of you already introduced yourself. Okay. Uh, some of you are 
Indonesian, some are you not. Okay, so uh, I think uh, we'll be talking in English <laughs> here. Okay, hope you don't mind. Okay, let's talk how you, uh, what what's going on when you access a website, okay. So this is what happened when you access a website, okay. So you type a, 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 a URL here, a website name, okay. Like here and then so your browser send a request to web server. Okay, and then here's the web server. So our live practice, so live practice server, uh, actually it's a web server. You can access our web server and then upload your files there. So after the request is handled, okay, and then process, and then the whole website will be sent back to you. Okay, and then you will see the content here. So in the beginning, uh, you just only see the URL, but uh, after a while, and then the content will come. So that's how uh, the uh, website works. Okay, so it's very simple, and then uh, makes your life easier. Okay, <laughs> but when you dig in, okay, if you if we talk about more and more deeper, actually it's not that simple, right? Correct. <laughs> Okay, so what happened inside? Well, when you type, uh, there is a there is there is a term called HTTP. Okay, hypertrack transfer protocol. Okay, <clears throat> so <clears throat> actually it's a protocol for uh, data formatting. So, uh, for example, this is a normal data, but uh, with hypertext. Uh, it will be translated to like this. So hypertext here is uh, the, the the main thing here is the hypertext. So the way you format the documents is uh, by using a, a a character that that has a meaning. Okay. In this case, we are using tag. Okay. So if you are if you are like me, but I'm not sure you, you are. You have that experience uh, <laughs> with the word processing. So uh, a long time ago, there was a there was a software called WordStar. Okay, <laughs> a very long time ago in 1990s or early 90s. Okay, yeah, early 90s or middle 90s. Okay, so with that software, uh, what you can do is uh, you type. Okay, uh, like in the notepad, and then you put a tag in front and at the end of that. Okay, so let me text edit. So okay, so you have you have a oops, uh, the drawing still active. Okay. So, okay, so I will, I will copy and paste a, a text, uh, the text which is uh, really, really uh, familiar with you guys, especially with the new website that has no content. Okay, this one, okay, Lorem Ipsum. <laughs> Okay, so this is actually, this is what happened when you upload a simple text files. Uh, I mean, when you copy and paste simple text files, uh, can anybody see this? My, see my, my uh, uh, a notepad? Hello, okay, can, you, can you please confirm uh, in the group chat that you can see my notepad? Hello? Hello. Hello, can, can you see my notepad here? Oh, okay, just a slide, all right. Uh -huh. Let me share the whole screen, okay? Right, okay, so this is my whole screen. 
and this is my notepad, okay? So this is notepad. So the way, for example, uh, the way you want to make, for example, uh, when you print, when you print, uh, and then it will be like this. If you want to make it bold, for example, from here to here, okay, what you can do is you do something, uh, control, control B, and then stop here, control B. Control B, okay. So that means uh, we are marking the text, okay. So this is a normal text, okay, normal text. You are marking from here to here, okay. So that when you print, this text will be bold, all right. So that's how the marking works. That's how the hypertext works. Okay, so you have a plain, so we start from the plain document. And then on top of that, okay, we are formatting the documents with the tag, with a, with a, a, with a mark. Okay. Okay, let's continue. So what is protocol? Again, so this is just a introduction. So protocol is a set of set of rules for communications. So when you send something like sending a request for a website, for example, this, so all of them will have a protocol from source to destination. Okay, when the packet is processed, it will be replied back to you. Okay, so this will be the source and this will be the destination. Okay, so destination and a source, source and then his destination. Okay, and then the destination becomes source and then will be swapped into destination. Okay, so as simple as that. Right, so uh, uh, that's how the internet works. Okay, by setting up a lots of um, protocols. So when you access a website, actually your computer uh, acts, um, sends. So for example, this one is process encapsulation. So encapsulation is process for uh, asking uh, for sending something, okay? So uh, when you have a data and then you want to wrap the data, so this is the data D, and then uh, you will add more information here by putting header and then header and then another header. Okay, so uh, this is an application. Application is the HTTP, uh, for example. Okay, and then uh, you have, uh, you will be added. So the system will add a transport layer header and then another header here, another header here. Okay, so that's how, how it works. Okay, so, but tonight we'll just talking about the HTTP and then the packet will be sent to the destination and from destination we have DCAP. So decapsulation process where the header will be appealed uh, one by one, and then you will get the original data from uh, from respective party. So you will peel a header here, a header here, a header here, and then get the data. So that's how how uh, uh, internet works uh, by setting up an, uh, many encapsulation. So steps to have a website. So first make sure you have a, a, a domain, okay? In this case, our domain is uh, GLC Networks. Okay, the full domain is the live practice. Uh, I've shared you the URL in the uh, group chat, okay? Uh, make sure you have a control panel. Uh, that can be, you can buy it or, or rent, uh, mostly is rent. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, the uh, owner of the server 
will give an access to you as long as you pay. And after that, you're pointing your domain to a web server. Okay, so domain is yours, but the web server is not. Okay, this is yours. Okay, this is your control, but the web server can be yours or can be others. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So in, in summary, uh, if you want to have a website, you need two things. You need to have a domain here. Okay. And then you need to have a web server. And tonight we have both. Okay. <laughs> How can you, uh, can you have a, uh, can you, uh, yeah, in the, sorry, uh, I forgot to say something. Yeah, uh, so you need to, 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 two components, a domain and then web server. Okay, so we have both. So for me, I'm the owner of the web server and then I give you the access so that you can put your own website. Oh, okay, I have a question here. In 1990s, domain is free. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, why do we need to pay domain? Well, because it's limited resources, okay? Because if I already say, okay, I already buy, actually it's not buy, um, uh, always rent. So uh, yeah, the, uh, you have rights to use, okay? Not, not right to own, okay? Uh, Okay, uh, it's a good question. Uh, who control the internet? Well, there is a uh, organization named Yana. So Internet uh, Assigned Number Authority. Okay, so this guy is running, is controlling the internet. So who owns this Yana? Actually, it's based on community. Okay, so Yana is community based. Uh, and then, uh, People are uh, have a representative there. Uh, Microsoft, you know, big vendors uh, have a representative in IANA. Uh, governments, uh, so it's like a United Nations for the internet. Okay, so IANA uh, is is managing these things. Okay, domain name. Okay, and then uh, you have a, a zone. They have a DNS server. Uh, they have. Uh, IP addresses, they have protocol assignments. So those are their job, okay? And then, yeah, these are the job, okay? Uh, uh, IP address, okay. So uh, because we are talking about the domain, so there will be only one part of Yana's job, okay? So controlling the, domain name. We are not talking about the, the IP addresses because that's not a topic, okay? So Yana is, is, has a root zone uh, management, okay? So it controls the DNS, the domain name. Why domain name? Because uh, that's the system where we can access our own, our own resources, okay? Why? Because if we don't use domain name, uh, we'll be accessing with IP address, which is not good, okay? For example, the tick.com IP address, okay? So instead of the tick.com, you'll be accessing this IP address, which is difficult to remember, correct? See? So when I, when I access the IP address, the, the tick.com, will redirect the request to their own website. Okay, so that's the, that's the, uh, that's the beauty of having a, a domain name here. Okay, because uh, managing a website is, is using resources like electricity, you have to put a server there and the server needs to be secure and then security costs money, okay? Uh, you be, that's why you have to pay for that, okay? Uh, so that when you buy, you buy a domain, how to, 
domain name, okay, domain name.com, Alibaba Cloud. Okay, so uh, there'll be a prize, okay? So, yeah, uh, uh, Google, Google also you can buy domain. So uh, actually to buy a domain, there will be a reseller, okay? And then the domain name is pay per uh, year, okay? If you buy uh, many years, uh, usually it's, it's cheaper, okay? So for example, here .com is uh, $3.9, uh, okay? But uh, you know, if you, for example, Indonesia.com, okay, this this uh, famous name's already been taken. Okay, so uh, if if you join uh, at the moment with the hype of, see, it's taken. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but they they uh, they suggest other uh, alternative. Okay, Indonesia.com, whatever.com. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, so what's your name? Uh, Arifa, arifa.com. Okay, let's let's try. Oh, it's taken, sorry guys. <laughs> so arifa.com is taken. So, I mean, it's kind of difficult now. Uh, <laughs> uh, if, you, if you use .com uh, domain uh, for your own uh, organization, because most of the names already taken. Okay, so that's why uh, the Yana introduce many, many uh, domain now. Okay, uh, how, how can I, yeah, you can uh, uh, list of top level domain. So you have, uh, here, this is a TLD. TLD means a top level domain. Okay, so when you have a domain, uh, domain actually is hierarchical and start from the last year. So com is the TLD, we call TLD. And then uh, after the com, uh, I mean before com is the sub, you call it sub domain. Okay, got it? So you have a subdomain and then you have a TLD. And then the domain will have subdomain and then so on and so forth. Uh, you can have uh, as many as uh, you like the, for the subdomain. So because uh, it's up to you, okay? You already have the domain and then, then it's your responsibility to manage those domain. Okay, so this is, uh, these are the top level domain, uh, which is available. Uh, you can .org, .edu, .net, .gov, .eu, whatever. Uh, just pick your 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 TLD, okay? Why? Because .com is already crowded. Uh, there are so many websites using .com anymore. Uh, .com. So uh, for you who are newly joined the 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 kids, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, uh, those famous names have already been taken, okay? even though your name is is taken. Okay, so hopefully that answers the questions. Uh, who is it, Arifa? Yeah. So that's explain why you need to buy a domain name and then why the domain name is not free. Uh, some domain, for example, ID, uh, it's more expensive compared to com. Yeah, that, that depends on the uh, market uh, mechanism. Uh, if there are lots of demands, and then the price is higher. If low demands, low price. As simple as that. Okay, uh, let's continue. So that's that's how you have a, a website, okay? So you need to have a domain and then you need to have a web server. Otherwise, nothing happened. <laughs> if you just only buy a domain, and then for what? Okay, there is no server that serves the domain. How can I access your domain, right? So you need to have both, okay? You have, you must have a domain, you must have a web server, as simple as that.
So when you have a website, uh, that can be a static website, which will be uh, discussed tonight. Okay, so this is our topic. Oops. So this is our topic, a okay? static website. So it's very simple. When the user requests to server, and then server will reply it back to the user, simple as that. Uh, no database, uh, no template engine, no etc no etc etc it's very simple okay uh, this static website is happening in the beginning of the internet in 1990s uh, most of the website are static okay just for one-way information to give you information here and then they will give you for example a phone number uh, email okay so mostly those two things are available on their website so that you can contact them. Okay, so uh, mainly the static website is used for one-way information. <clears throat> but today, uh, most of the website are dynamic. Okay? So when a user send a request to a server, a uh, server will send a request to database server. Okay, can you please try to find this one? And then the server will return and then wrap it with the template engine of, for example, PHP, Python, or whatever, send it back to the server, server will send it back to the user. Okay, so that's the difference between dynamic website and static website. So uh, yeah, dynamic website is, is more complex. You have to learn uh, many things, <laughs> I will say many things. With static websites, uh, you just learn, um, HTML, CSS, uh, about a little bit of JavaScript, that's fine, okay? But with dynamic websites, it's not that simple, okay? All right, guys, if you have a, a questions, and then uh, you can, you can, uh, you can say something here in the group chat, so do not just be silent, please. So I would like to, here some some discussion okay so uh the first uh, component of the ht uh, of a website is html uh for example you can access test.glcnetworks.com yeah this is this is very simple website and then this website contains uh, a code okay code uh, how do you see the code? Okay, you can check here, view page source. So on the left, here it is. On the right, uh, you can see view source. So uh, when I when I access a website here, test.glcnetworks.com, I will see uh, things like this. Okay, so doc type and then blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is just to inform that uh, the document type here is HTML and then has to be comply with W3C. Uh, yeah, this is also good. What is W3C? So W3C is a World Wide Web Consortium, okay? It's, a, it's an organization, okay? It's like a United Nations. Uh, and then what they do is, is to set up a standard here for HTML. Okay. okay, so most of the HTML uh, language uh, is defined here. Okay, so here you go. You can read them by yourself. Okay, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Uh, they have tutorials as well, okay, for you to access uh, HTML5 reference manual. Okay, what is HTML? You can see it here. Okay. So uh, HTML started from 
1993, uh, very early. And then HTML point uh, version four in 1999. And then uh, what we have now is HTML five in 2015. Okay, so uh, it's been a very long time. Okay, since there is no progress of HTML4. So HTML4 uh, has been around for many years, okay, since 1999 until uh, 2015, I think, <clears throat> 15 or 14, okay. So this is how, how uh, the, um, the uh, HTML tag is created in the W3C. Okay. So that was the HTML. Uh, HTML is has a markup language. It's a markup language, for example. Okay, let, let's check the source. Okay, I will compare between the source and the content. Okay. So this is the source, okay? So what are the inside? Well, here it is. So you have you have a tag of HTML here. Okay, Start, uh, close with HTML, okay? From here to here. And then you have a nested, nested uh, inside, a nested uh, uh, um, component. So when I say a website component, here are the components. So start with HTML and with HTML with slash here. And then inside them, there are two components, head and body. Okay. So inside head, we have uh, another component called title. So title here will affect the title here. Okay. And then here we have H1. Uh, so this is the body, okay? So body start from here, from here to here. And then here is the header, okay? So in the body, we have H1. This is H1, okay, here. So welcome to GLC Network test page. So this is H1, H1 means heading one. It's like, uh, it's like a title of the of the documents, okay? And then we have H2 here. So it's like when you type a formal document, you have a title and then you have a subtitle, you have a sub subtitle, okay? So H2 is the heading two, so it's uh, below the H1. So it's like a subtitle or sub chapter. So H2 is here, so you can see the difference between H1 and H2. This is H1 and this is H2. H2 it has, a, uh, they're also bold, but the font is different. So it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit uh, uh, smaller, okay? And then we have another component here called paragraph. So the first paragraph is here, okay? Uh, second paragraph is here. And then the third paragraph is here, okay? So as you can see, uh, all components in the website, it looks like a box, okay? So this is one box and here's another box. Okay, and here's another box. So it's a box model, we call it box model. Right, so from the text, from the text here on the right, you will see the result on the, on the left. Okay, so we can continue then. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do something with our websites. So if you already log in, and then you can see, yeah, you, we can go to, uh, slash far uh, www.html. Okay, here it is. 
Okay, let's create a, a, a folder here. Um, okay, I will create a folder, okay. Uh, 2021, uh, 0114, right. Oh, access denied, why? Okay, let me open the permission. So I'm logging here as a live 20 CD. Okay, let me check. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, so okay, I've, I've changed the uh, permission. So hopefully I can write a directory now. 2021, 11, 14. Oh, sorry, 01, 2021, 01, 14. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here, uh, this is the place where we can, we can uh, 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 put our Put our our files. Okay, I will put ahmad.html. Here it is. Okay, done. Okay, this is our website. Okay, uh, yeah, I mean uh, they did our own folder. So what is far ww html? Uh, this one is called um, what say it's a web directory root web directory, okay, root directory of our web. So you can access live practice, practice oops, live practice dot uh, lab dot GLC networks dot com. Yeah, so here it is. Okay. So how, how, how can this happen? Well, we can check the page source. So we have pre here and then pre here. Pre means uh, pre-formatting. So how does that happen? Uh, we can see it here because the index HTML contain this guy. Okay, I can view here. Okay. Uh, in my uh, laptop, I already configure my uh, FileZilla so that when I edit something, uh, files in the server, it will be automatically opened with my uh, IDE here, which uh, uh, text editor. Uh, in this case, I'll be using, uh, I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code. Why Visual Studio Code? Because uh, well, uh, it's free, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, it, it it yeah it has lots of features. Okay, okay, so that's how it works. Okay, you don't have to change the um, index.html. What we are focusing on is the our folder here, twenty twenty one zero one fourteen. Okay, so I only uh, set up a files here. So when you access we can access the folder 2021-01-14. There you go. We just only have one file. All right. Guys, can you please make a folder here so that uh, I can see you can follow the content. Please put something here, your name. All right. Okay, let's continue. Uh, so for me, for example, uh, yeah, we can access the, we can access the content 
and then we can see the, the, the files inside the directory. Okay, well, but when we click, okay, it takes time to click. And then it shows nothing. Why? Because the file is empty. That's why we need to update the files. Okay, I'm editing the files up to here. And then there we go. So, for example, we have set up uh, with, with, uh, with Visual Studio Code. Uh, there's a feature called Emmet. Okay, so it's a it's like a, it's like a template uh, when you set up a uh, it's a template for a a new files. Okay, so that you don't have to type the whole things. So I just type HTML and then I just pick, okay, I will use HTML5 and then voila. <clears throat> These are the things that the, <laughs> the, 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 the files, uh, the editor uh, help me. Okay, uh, the filezilla detect that uh, the file is changed. Do you want to upload it back to the server? Yes, okay. Uh, it's uploading, then we can refresh. Okay, it takes time. Okay, so previously it was zero. Now it's 197 bytes. Okay, here's the content. And then when you apply, so uh, it will update the content. Okay, so previously it was zero. Now it's, uh, it's one. 197 which so when you click nothing happens but but when you see there is something different here there is the title so this is the title and then the title affects here okay well you can add others uh, the stuff like you can change it to Ahmad page, for example. Okay. Put it back. Yes. Okay, upload the files. Done. And then refresh. And then there will be a change on title here. Yeah, see, uh, it's different now, it changed. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> well, um, um, uh, title doesn't mean anything, right? <laughs> so you need to put something, okay, <laughs> because, yeah, because, uh, that's not enough, okay. So you can add, for example, in the body here. Oh, okay, so in order to, in order to uh, easier read, okay. So actually you can do something like this. Okay, make it indent. Okay, another indent and then indent so that uh, we can see you can see easily which one is is inside which one. Okay, as you can see, this is the, the, the HTML. And then inside the HTML we have head. Okay, and then uh, under the HTML we have two, two components. Uh, there are header, head, yeah, and then body. Okay, inside the body we have meta, I mean, inside the header, head, we have meta, and then we have title here. See, so uh, this is how DOM works. DOM means uh, document object model. Okay, so we have, we have component inside the component. So one big component contains of 
uh, smaller uh, components that is nested inside of the bigger components. Okay. All right. So let's let's add a a new uh, uh, things. For example, uh, body. Uh, let's say H1, for example. See, so when you use a good uh, editor like a VS Code, uh, most of the time uh, when you type a tag, uh, it will detect you, oh, okay, you are going to write a tag. And then this is the things that I will provide for you. Okay, so H1, for example, this is my page. Okay, uh, other things, for example, the paragraph here, yeah. see Emmet abbreviation. Okay, this is my first paragraph. Okay, save and then uh, it will upload back to the uh, server. Okay. And then when we refresh, the page. Then we can, we should see the page is changed. Ah, see. Okay. Okay, so that was the, the HTML. So the, the code that I'm writing now is HTML code. Okay, content of tags, uh, it follows uh, DOM, document object model, defined by W3C, right? So you cannot invent your own tag, okay? So the tag is already defined in W3C, a website, and then it will be implemented in every browser. So HTML is the fundamental language Actually, this is not a, yeah, it's, it's a language, but it's not programming language because because with HTML, uh, you cannot do three plus three. Okay, you cannot do that. Three plus three equals to six, right? Or uh, three by four, uh, it's 12. Three multiplied by six is 18. Uh, those calculations cannot be done in HTML. Uh, other stuff like conditional, like if this, then that. Okay, uh, you cannot do that for HTML. So HTML is just language for displaying information. Okay, again, this is for displaying information. That's the drawback of HTML, just displaying information. Uh, you cannot do like a calculations, uh, you cannot do things like, yeah, other, other, other computations, animations, uh, things that makes website dynamics, you cannot do that. Okay, HTML is just statics, just for displaying one way information from server to client. Okay, to client. Okay, so that's, that's the HTML, okay. So that was the HTML, how HTML works. So the next step is the CSS. So CSS is a cascading style sheet is the language to format your HTML page. Well, uh, for example, if you just only use HTML and then what you will get is just this one. Okay, just uh, simple text. Okay, it's a very boring website, <laughs> only black and white. No, uh, okay, uh, you have fonts, okay. Uh, but you, you cannot control like alignment, okay. Uh, you, you, this is, this is a, a, a title, right? The title usually is put on the center here. Uh, with HTML, you cannot do that. So that's why uh, you need to define a, a style. Okay, how do you define the style? Well, in header, it had a section here. So here, for example, title. Okay, I will add a new space so that you can see clearly. Oh, okay, let me increase the size. 
Okay, so hopefully you can see it. Yeah, so here you define the style. See, style. We have indent, and then we define the tag. Okay, you, we have we have a body tag here. We have h1 tag. We have a p component. Here we have a body component. So this style here will um, uh, formatting uh, components on the body. Okay. Okay, let's let's try some. So body, so body is okay. This is how you define uh, the style. Okay. Uh, yeah, there are there are many parameters for for uh, uh, for for CSS. Okay, so for example, you can define background color here, and then you define. Okay, let's pick a um, which one? Maybe uh, dark gray. Okay, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, this means, uh, basically it says that, okay, uh, for body, uh, for all items inside the body, so body, body start from here to here. So it's, 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 it's a big, it is a big, big, uh, yeah, it's, it's a top level, it's a top level components, okay. And then the style here, define that component okay so for component body okay i want you to set up a background color of dark gray that's what it means uh next okay let's try um uh, h1 okay so h1 here oops So for each one, I think uh, color, we can define color is maybe brown. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, maybe text alignment. Um, text align is center. Okay, so this is how you define the CSS, right? Okay, so body defines here. So H1 here define more specific, only H1. Uh, what are the uh, components? What are the the options that it defines. So color and text alignment. Okay, let's save the files and then upload it back to the server. Okay, control S for save. And then we'll upload it back to the server. Okay, starting upload, finish, and then we can refresh. Okay, so now change. Okay, so that's that's how the CSS works. Okay, uh, in the future, perhaps we can have a, a more CSS uh, exercise. Uh, CSS is very, very useful. Okay, especially, for example, you have a one, one page, and then by changing the CSS, uh, it will change the look of of the website. Okay, CSS also has a template, and then uh, you can use it. Uh, next thing is the JavaScript. Okay, JavaScript is a programming language. Why do we JavaScript? Because of the limitation of the HTML. Okay, again, it's a programming language. 
with HTML, no programming. Okay, so what happened if you use program language? You can add features of the website. Um, I mean, not the website to the website. So I put the I put a typo here. Uh, yeah, and then you have a dynamic components of the website. Yeah. Okay, let's put a JavaScript. So how do you define a JavaScript? Well, that depends. So, okay, so, uh, this one is a little bit, um, yeah, I would say a little bit, uh, uh, yeah, a little bit uh, uh, programming things, okay? So the way you put a, a JavaScript is, for example, you you want to have a button. So when you click a button, something happens, right? So what you can do is you can write a, a JavaScript, okay? So you can add here a button. Uh, see button, okay, button, yeah, this is my, this is my button, okay, button, okay, so it is very simple button, uh, simple, simple button. Okay, what you will see here after you, after we upload the files is it's like this. So there will be a button here you can click. Okay, right. So very simple button you can click, but nothing happens. <laughs> okay, so uh, you will add a, a, a JavaScript here to modify something. Okay, so what you can do is uh, you can insert an argument here. So this area is your canvas. Okay, so you can write a JavaScript here okay, in this area. So here is your is is the place where you can put your your code. Okay. Um, So, for example, um, so let's say um, most likely we have uh, with JavaScript, we usually modify, we can modify other components, okay? In this case, so that component needs to have an ID because one of the JavaScript uh, ability is to change the, that the content of particular HTML uh, component, uh, which is defined by ID. So here is uh, ID, well, th this one has an ID, uh, for example, uh, paragraph par one, par one, for example, okay. So here, uh, type is uh, button. And then when you on click, see, uh, we can we can insert the document. Uh, see um, documents. So this is the JavaScript. So so that VS Code support JavaScript. Okay. <laughs> Doc, document dot get element by ID. See, it's very, very helpful. Okay, so get element by ID, and then we define here the name of the ID, which is the uh, power one. See, and then after that, okay, it's a long way, uh, and then uh, you define what you want to do. Okay, so dot 
inner HTML, okay, equals to uh, command date, okay. Yes, finish. Okay, so that's how you define the JavaScript. Yeah. Okay, so I will save this one. Uh, let's see what happened. Okay, have I uploaded this one? Oh no, I haven't uploaded yet. Okay, 533, okay, good. Okay, I will refresh this one. So when I click, when I click this one will be change. See, when I click, so uh, I will refresh again. Okay, I will refresh. So uh, in the beginning, uh, this is how the page looks like, okay? So when you click, this will change uh, an, a DOM I with this ID, DOM ID of this one. Okay, I click again. Okay, this is what happened. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, learning um, JavaScript is, is not that easy compared to HTML and then CSS. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, let, let's 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 discuss. Let's let's understand how it works. Okay. So uh, the when you when you okay, let's let's open the. Oops. Let's open the, oh, okay. Let's open the, um, ah, I would like to say source, okay. Yeah, here's the source, same source. Okay, so when you download for the first time, so this is what happened, okay. When you access the page for the first time, this is what happened, okay. The, the, the files, the browser, I mean, you download it to the browser, right? Now the browser will render up to HTML. It's fine, done, okay? So all of the things already on your uh, browser, okay? And then your browser supports JavaScript, okay? And then here's the JavaScript, we have a simple button. So you have a button here, okay? Here's the closing brackets, okay? it will display the button. So type is button, okay. Um, not a problem there. And then here's the event, okay. Event. And then when you click, this is what happened. It will execute a JavaScript command, okay. So the command is like this, okay. So documents, so checking the documents. So refer to document, current documents. So that's the meaning of the first segment of the command here. Okay, looking at this document and then get element by ID. <clears throat> okay, get element by ID. So as I said, uh, when you have a HTML page, it consists of elements, okay? You have elements of H1, elements of P, elements of buttons, element of body, uh, many elements, okay? But you're looking for an element that has an ID, okay? So this one has no ID, okay? Don't look at this one. So this one has an ID, okay, ID, and then that ID must equal to par one here. So this one, will refer to this. And then the meaning of next uh, command is inner HTML. So it means that this is the HTML, right? From here to here, this is one element. So one element consists of 
beginning begin tag up to end tag. So this is one element, okay? And that's one element. And the inner HTML is, is the content between open and then closing tag, which is this one, okay? This is the inner HTML. If there is an inner, there's an outer, yes. The outer is here. This is the outer and this is the outer HTML. So the JavaScript says that, so go to this document, go to this element by ID, okay? And then change the inner HTML to this one. And this one means display the date. Date who? Date of the browser. So I'm using my own browser and then the, the browser will uh, access the date of my current operating system and then it will change to the date. Okay, let's try it. And voila, it works. Okay, so I think that's all. Uh, thank you very much for still attending the, um, still attending the, uh, the, the webinar. Thank you very much. Any questions? If no questions, okay, time is up. <laughs> I already won by, by the, uh, by the admin. Okay. So guys, uh, uh, time is up. Thank you very much for attend, for your attention. Um, uh, if you have any question, you can type something on the group chat. Uh, anything else uh, from admin? Yes. Um...